How you doing? Today we're gonna to be looking at a couple different products from UGG. First off, I have my UGG for Men Numels in black. I just picked these up. And because I picked these up, I live here in Michigan, there is a lot of snow, I wanna protect them. So I went out and just picked this up today. The UGG Sheepskin and Suede Care Kit. So we're gonna take a look at the UGGs and then go ahead and look at this care kit and put on the protector onto the boots here. So like I said, I just picked these up. These are brand new for me. I haven't worn them yet. It is the UGG Numels. Got them in the black. And you probably wonder, Jason, what are you wearing UGGs for? Are UGGs for women? Do guys actually wear UGGs? I was thinking the same thing myself about a week ago. If you would ask me if I ever got UGGs, I would have said no. But all the guys at work, I work at a hotel at the front desk. They all went out, well, most of them all have Uggs now. I tried them on, instantly I was like, okay, I gotta get a pair of these. They're so soft and fluffy inside. It's like putting your foot into a pillow. It's so nice and soft, and especially being here in Michigan, you got a lot of snow out there. If you're wearing tennis shoes in the snow, you know how you get the snow in your socks and your foot starts getting wet. So I wanted something to wear out in the snow, so that's why I picked these up. But if you just go out in the snow with this, it's going to get wet. It's going to get salt marks all over it. So you need to get that care kit, spray on the protectant on it to help make these last. So we're going to go ahead, put these aside, and crack open this care kit here. So the care kit comes with the protector, the cleaning and conditioner, and the shoe renewer. Then you also get a brush and a suede eraser. So let's open this up and take a look inside. This care kit came to about $26. I picked it up from Journeys. So here is a look inside. So we have our protector bottle. We spray that on. It's supposed to keep your boot waterproof. Uh, the cleaner and conditioner. And then the shoe renew cleans and deodorizes insole. So you're gonna spray that inside there to keep your shoe smelling nice. Then you get your brush, little magic erase mark right here. So if you get any marks on there, you can get rid of that. So again, I went to the store, I went to Journeys because I really just wanted the protector because these are brand new. I don't need to clean them right now. I didn't need all that extra stuff. And I think you can get just this bottle for $10, but they didn't have it. She told me I need to get this, and this is literally the girl at Journeys. Yes, you need to get this. She opened one up. So it comes with, well, it comes with these. I don't really know what any of these do, but yeah, you're going to need all these. But I don't know what they need, what they do. This is what the girl at Journeys told me. Yeah. I bought it anyways, even though she didn't know what the heck it was. I knew what they were. And in here you do have some, looks like some instructions. Uh, sheepskin suede care kit. It's going to tell you it comes with this booklet in here, but unless you know a different language, don't worry about this. This There's no English directions in here. It's Japanese or Chinese, and German, and I don't know what other, Spanish maybe, a bunch of different languages. So this is if you speak a different language and you can't read English. The directions are on each bottle. So the first step is if you have your boots, if like, I mean, these are brand new, so all I'm gonna do is put on the protector. But say you had these, they were dirty, they're worn, you wanna clean them up, then put some protector on them. You would first get out the cleaner and conditioner. So let's go ahead and read the directions, see what it says on here. It says, do not apply directly to the material. Gently brush surface to remove dirt. So first, if these were older boots, you just go ahead and take your brush, brush everything, get off all the dirt and stuff off it. So then we are gonna go ahead and moisten the surface with a clean, damp sponge. So you go ahead, pick. you don't have a sponge in here. This is a magic erase marker, racer thing here. So go ahead and go to the store, pick up some cheap sponges. So get yourself a bowl of water or a sponge, and then you're gonna dampen the entire boot. Not soaking wet, just get that sponge and just rub the sponge on here to dampen everything up. So, so after we got it completely damp, apply a small amount of the formula to the damp sponge and gently scrub. Remove residue with sponge 
Stuff the boots with paper towels to main set shape. Let dry naturally for 24 hours in the cool ventilated area. Avoid direct heat and sunlight. Once dries, use the suede bush on the nap in the single direction to restore the original appearance. So what they're saying is, again, you take that first sponge, you get it wet, rub it, try to keep everything going in the same direction, get the boot damp. Take that sponge, put a small amount of this on the sponge, and go ahead and rub this, cleaning the boot again, trying to keep everything going in the same direction, and get it completely covered with this cleaner and conditioner. Now, if you have that cardboard shoe insert that came, you know, mine didn't, some shoe, you know, when you pick up shoes might have it, you stick that in here. Otherwise, stick some paper to keep this nice and hard and solid so it doesn't, you know, it'll dry quicker if it's, you know, shoved paper into your toe, you know, down here to keep that all nice and hard. It'll dry quicker. Let it dry for about 24 hours. Don't put it out in direct sunlight or use a dryer, you know, hair dryer to try to dry. But just let it dry naturally in your room somewhere, room temperature. Come back to it the next day. It's dried. It's been 24 hours. Take your brush. Again, brush the boot again completely. Trying to do it all in the same direction. Get the hair all nice and calm. This is sheepskin. Once we're done with that, we are going to move on to bottle number two here. We're going to use the protector. And this is, well, this is the shoe renew, sorry. This is the protector here. So this is what I'm going to actually use on the boot right now. Since mine is brand new, I didn't need to use the cleaner on this one. So the protector, shake well. Apply to a clean, dry sheepskin or suede in well-ventilated area. It's fairly well-ventilated in here. Hold the bottle six inches away from the surface. Spray evenly until the surface is wet, but not soaked. Let boots dry for 24 hours in a cool ventilated area. Avoid direct heat and sunlight. Once dry, use a suede brush or nap in a single direction to restore original appearance. So we're gonna go ahead and spray each of these boots and put the laces inside. So what we're gonna do is spray them, not soak them, just completely cover everything. Then I'm gonna let these boots dry. Then, once they're dry, you'd come back 24 hours later, say tomorrow, then you just go ahead and brush everything again, get it nice, get it looking nice here, brush everything in the same direction, and you're good to go. Then your boots should be pretty much waterproof. I mean, you're not gonna go walking in the water with these, but like if you spilled something on it, or I got a little snow on it, it's not gonna ruin the boot, you know, hopefully. You know, again, there's limitations to the waterproof, but it should work. So before I spray this protector on it, I'm just going to give it a quick mist of this. So this is the Shoe Renew direction. Spray into the shoe after each use to prevent odor. Spray the insole and wipe away excessive. So this is just to make it smell a little better. But these are brand new, but we'll put a little in there anyways. You know, since your shoes, you've been wearing them, they're getting a little stinky. So, let's get this protector. We got it shaking well. And brush up a little bit. We're going to go ahead and give each one of these a nice spray. Like I said, you don't want to soak it, but you want to get it covered pretty well. Pretty good. There we go. We got the other one. Go ahead and put the cap back on here. So we're gonna let those sit now. I got them sprayed. They're gonna sit here for you know 24 hours, and then I'll come back tomorrow. I brush them all in the same direction. And they'll be ready to go, ready to get them out there in the snow and put them to work. Keep my feet nice and toasty, like walking on little pillows of fur. So, again, pick those up. The new mills, the Uggs for guys, super comfortable, very light. The only downside to these is, I would say, is it's all, you know, you got that fur inside. The fur's on the bottom, too, and sometimes they can, you know, kind of get pushed up. 
So it's almost like when you're wearing socks and your sock is kind of bunched up and you're kind of, there's spots where it's bunched up underneath it. That's kind of what that fur gets kind of bunched up and sometimes underneath your foot. And to me, it kind of bothers me. I wish it had a little more uh, cushioning in it. You know, it's, I'm used to wearing my Nike Freeze. Very comfortable. You know, there isn't a whole lot of, other than the fur and this rubber, there isn't a whole lot of cushioning there. So standing on them for long hours might be uncomfortable. I don't know. Um, for me, I'm probably not going to wear them while I'm working. Just be wearing, you know, from leaving the house to go to work when I'm outside in the snow, and then I'll switch over to my tennis shoes. These are running about $130 right now. You can probably pick them up on sale. I got mine, you can get them from Journeys or online from UGG or some other stores. You can get them in different colors. Um, they have the black, there's a gray, a bluish one, and like a burgundy one. Um, I like the black and wear black pants at work, so I think these look good. And again, if you're going to pick them up, especially if you're going to be wearing them in, in snowy conditions where there's salt and all that stuff, you're going to want to get the care kit, put that protector on there, to make them, you know, somewhat waterproof. Once they get dirty, use that, you know, that cleaner and that conditioner, brush them, take care of your boots. I mean, those are expensive, $130. That's not a cheap boot. You don't want to ruin those. So take care of them, use the kit. Again, you can pick this up at Journeys or probably some other stores, maybe even online at um, the UGG, UGG.com or whatever. You can probably pick up some generic protectors from Walmart or any other store. If you have and if you used it, let me know. Do those work as well? Do they protect your boots? I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. So that does it. We sprayed our boots. They're gonna be good tomorrow. I'm gonna brush them, then I'm gonna wear them, and they'll be ready to go for winter. Let me know in the comments. Do you got a pair of these? Do you like them? Do you like guys in Uggs? Do guys in Uggs look good? Do they go? I mean, they're super comfortable. I got the black so people really won't know. It's hard to tell. I pants it over the top that I'm wearing Uggs. So if you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell notification so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Smash that like button if you like this video, and I will see you guys again soon. I will probably do another video once I wear these for a while and get them dirty and do an actual proper video on the cleaning and conditioning of the boots. So until then, I'll see you guys soon.